Early this morning, the lines of storms struck in southeast Indiana before tearing into Ohio and Kentucky. The storms leave behind a trail of damage in Ohio County. Larry Davis talked with a man who's picking up the pieces. There is storm damage throughout Switzerland and Ohio counties. You'll find downed trees and power lines all along Indiana Route 56. But the worst damage we found was right here on this 91 acre farm. The storm uprooted trees, tossing them all around. It also leveled Don Curry's garage and workshop. He had antique tools inside and was restoring a 1959 Plymouth. The storm also tore off the second floor corner to Curry's home. So you didn't hear much of anything then until... No, I didn't hear a thing until that corner went off. The throat woke way up. I jumped out of bed. Friends and family members helped clean up the debris. Nikki Curry lives in a double wide behind her in-laws and is thankful they were not hurt. It was scary. Of course, I seen that their bedroom was gone. So we came up, was checking for them. And for whatever reason, they didn't sleep in the bedroom last night. They were in the living room, so it worked out. There was other damage in Switzerland and Ohio counties. Trees and wires down. This barn was also leveled. Debris ending up in the backyard of a nearby home some 300 yards away. While there is a lot of damage and a lot of inconvenience, no one was injured. I just hope I got a good insurance company. <laughs> And Don Curry jokingly says he has some good firewood now. But the buds on the trees here, as well as the damage on this 91-acre farm, is a reminder that the spring storm season is now upon us. In Ohio County, Larry Davis, Local 12 News. Meteorologists with the National Weather Service are expected to survey the damage in southeastern Indiana in the coming days to determine if it was indeed a tornado that struck the area.